Hello traders, I am Stephen Davis, <clears throat> Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, here to talk to you about the grain markets this morning. Okay, it's Friday, we had the October crop report on Tuesday. The October report is always an important report. It's the first time we get official yields on corn and soybeans. So the corn crop, a 15 billion bushel crop, uh, it wasn't just a couple of years ago that a 12 billion bushel corn crop was big. Now we've got a new record 15 billion bushel corn crop. And kudos to the American farmer. If you guys are listening to this video, uh, we salute you. Uh, there should be a Nobel Prize for the U.S. farmer, how you get it done and feed the world. So the structure of this corn market now is there's a lot of short positions in the corn market. So our first chart today, you can see uh, we've got a little bit of strength going higher and the line up above is the 100 day moving average around 360 on December corn. Today's high 355. So we'll see if we can shoot for that here in the days ahead. Okay, the soybean market, Tuesday's report, we needed 52 bushels per acre for the report to be bearish. Well, the acreage came out 51.5 bushel per acre on soybean. Analysts were looking for 51.4, so right in there, but still not enough to uh, gyrate the soybean market higher, but certainly a record soybean crop going on here. Now you can see the chart of the soybeans here, our next chart, it's up, it's down, it's down, it's up, and so it's been a little bit choppy here, and we'll see where we go from here. Exports are the key to the soybean market. Now this time frame of the year, October, November, December, is the strong time for soybean exports to the world. Unlike corn, where we ship corn every single month, this is a window of opportunity now to sell our soybeans. To the rest of the world. Okay, the wheat market. What a rally in wheat yesterday. So here's our daily chart on wheat. Look at it. It's going to take a lot of buying, more buying to sustain these levels here. There is a big short position in wheat, so be careful being short wheat here. So all of a sudden these uh, grain markets are real interesting as we follow these charts. Okay, the wheat market and talking about it here really reminds me of some of the great history in the last 50 years of the Chicago Board of Trade. And it reminds me of the 1972 Russian grain robbery, they call it, where Russia came in and bought uh, 10 million metric tons of U.S. wheat. And this just reminds me, uh, Canada and U.S., uh, 50 years ago, we're 70, 75% of wheat exports to the world. Now we're less than half of that. So certainly Russia and Ukraine come to mind as big export sellers in the world today in the wheat market. So where am I going with this? I just, we're, this from 1972 is when we started our export inspections and all of the uh, structure and process that we have of reporting our grain production. We're very, very transparent. So it started in 1972. China, a big player in these agricultural markets, they're not so transparent. So I don't think anybody really knows, this is a new era of grain markets. I don't think anybody really knows where we're gonna go. I think in our lifetime, there's going to be some surprises. So we'll keep talking about that. Everybody have an excellent weekend.